Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. It is time for our Ask the Expert segment with Scott Watson from Watson's Pharmacy. You can give us a call live on the air, 789-6559, extension 2803. You can always send us a message via our Facebook page, via Twitter, or via email, ottawa.morning at ctv.ca. Always great to start with a, a topic, and I think what's really great with you guys too is taking a look at traditional medicine, but also yeah. with what it is that you do at your pharmacies to be able to look at other alternatives as well. And that's what a lot of the clients and patients are looking for. That's right. We tried to build this integrative approach to pharmacy. So we blend prescriptions and uh, we have a lot of alternative medicines. We do have some homeopathic medicines as well. And in addition to that, we have this compounding lab that we can even get more specialized prescription services. So it's uh, it's kind of a fun way to do pharmacy. Can I can I ask for people who are still unfamiliar with what the compounding aspect really means and what it what it offers different from anywhere else? Well, a classic example coming up is a medicine that had been discontinued, but the actual pharmaceutical chemical is still available. So that we can actually purchase that chemical. Working with a doctor, we can actually make a product for an individual. So it's a very useful type of thing that we can do at our pharmacy. So if you know it exists and that it has worked for other ways, you can yeah. actually create it and, and, and really kind of push it towards that one patient right. that needs that. And very individual. You can, if people are sensitive to certain ingredients, we can keep those out. So it's, it's a very handy thing to do. It really is. Okay, we do. I noticed that you have a couple of, uh, of graphs for right. us, and this is really doing the comparison between traditional and alternative. Yeah. So I mean, we, for example, is it a cold, flu, or infection? And sitting at the pharmacy counter, you see people come in and they're trying to get a cough syrup and. You know, sometimes you can just look at their face and hear their cough and you're like, you need to see a doctor. And so we'll send people off to the doctor to, and probably they'll come back with an antibiotic But we expect our farm, we expect to walk into the pharmacy you know, sometimes and, and just go, please, just tell me what I need. You know, and a lot of the times we can do that, but sometimes you just know. You need to go. So, but if there are where you, we think we can help, there are some nice natural products that can be useful. Uh, garlic, I mean, garlic is amazing. It does have antibacterial properties. So if you do have an infection, it doesn't look like it's too severe, then I will often suggest a product like this Alimax. So that is an actual aged garlic extract. It does have antibacterial properties that have immune system boosting properties, so it can actually help you fight an infection. So it's a, it's a very useful product. You're better to go this way rather than crushing a whole bunch of garlic. You know, at least this, <laughs> you're, still keep one capsule, away. you're getting a lot of the active ingredient. Okay. Uh, cough suppressants with honey. Honey actually does have an anti-cough uh, property, so it's very useful. One that I did learn about from some European doctors is this product that I brought into the pharmacy. It's called Ulone. It's based on an antihistamine, but it has a little more of an anti-cough property than some of the simple things like dextromethorphan. Uh, so that's one that I have in the pharmacy that's also very useful. Uh, lozenges with the zinc. People have a sore throat. Uh, zinc has the properties to heal tissue, but it also can help our body fight a cold. So, so it's uh, very useful. So there are some very good uh, traditional and non-traditional alternative therapies for fighting infections. So and, and you can sense it too with someone yeah. to say, listen, look, try this. These might actually just soothe some of the symptoms that you're going with. Okay, let's That's go right. to the next slide. Okay, anxiety. Now sometimes people you know, just for whatever reason, they could be going through uh, school, they could be going through some troubles or something, and they just, you know, if they see their doctor, they're worried they're gonna get a prescription medication and they're, do I have to take that prescription medication? Well, sometimes you do need that. So, I mean, don't rule that out, and uh, I think it's very important to do that. But sometimes you can do uh, just some traditional alternative, uh, or pardon me, some alternative medicines that could be very useful. So if people have an upset stomach all the time, if they're worried and they're, uh, they're just up in digestion and whatnot, simple Pepto-Bismol, as long as it's suitable for that individual, can be very useful. Aloe vera, we used aloe vera on our lips growing up, right. I remember that. There are aloe vera drinks that can be taken and uh, they do provide some relief for certain individuals as well. I always assumed aloe vera, I mean, it's yeah. that, that I associate with sun. Yeah. So how do the properties get put into a drink? So like, what they, are we looking at? So they just take the same aloe vera plant and they convert it into a drink and people can take it and it actually helps to heal the mm. digestive tract. Interesting. And for people with that... Would that be of, safe for young children as well? You know, check, we would, there's always some recommendations okay. in the natural medicines database that I always like to check for. So for ages, we always kind of look that up. Okay. Now over two I would say for sure but for under two we'd have to look okay just asking you for personal reasons since I have a young daughter who just refuses 
yeah. refuses to go. And okay. so, you know, the, everything just doesn't seem to be working oh, the way you know it what? should be. I'll, later I'll tell you okay. something that's also is really <laughs> okay. good for that. Aloe vera, though, for all other individuals with the right. digestive tract. So another thing I wanted to bring up was this L-theanine. Now that is just an amino acid that comes from green tea. And um, it's very useful. I've seen people that are very tense and that have had used prescription medications. And they've actually been able to substitute this for the prescription medication. So they are, it's a very nice product. Um, I think we have some by Sisu, not exactly this one, but there are some stress rescue medicines from Sisu that are very useful. So. And then, of course, uh, mood. Uh, there's a product called 5-HTP, which again stimulates our body to produce some of the neurotransmitters that help with mood. Um, but again, be very careful with that and work with your pharmacist, work with your doctor, because if you're trying to improve your mood, I would just want you to make sure that you're doing everything that's good for you. Uh, and some things can be dangerous if you're just doing it all on your own. So do work with pharmacists ask and the doctors. Questions. Well, if you're the one suggesting, I think ask the questions yep. especially. Uh, we have some more slides to get to, but we do have to take a commercial break. Uh, remember, you can uh, actually get your questions in live on the air. Give us a phone call at 789-6559, extension 2803. You can always send us in a message via Facebook, via Twitter, or via email. We'll be back after this. <clears throat>